Let me show you some tips and tricks to record in Viage the best way possible. Let's go! Booga booga! Before we even jump right into VRChat, you should be setting your launch options to this. The reason for that is that if you do record videos per OBS of VRChat, you usually have these small black bars that I actually noticed from a lot of other content creators due to VRChat being in windowed mode. But this launch setting will keep it full screen and you can get the whole picture. You can also change the resolution from Full HD to 4K depending on your main monitor and in my case it's 4K resolution to catch some real 4K footage. Another tip is to set up your OBS or your your recording software correctly. Important is that you have the desktop audio and your microphone separated as two audio tracks and make sure to check these two boxes in the output option. For VRChat you also want to add a game capture window like so and choose VRChat as the game you want to record. Feel free to use my settings to record in VRChat just like I do. Many people have been asking about these settings so here you go guys. Also feel free to pause this video at any point in time if you need so. So we got everything set up so let's get right into VRChat. First open your camera and set it on streaming camera. To not get shaky footage, I always recommend you to use a setting called smoothed. This makes your camera less shaky and smooth things out. Auto level can be used to, well, auto level your camera. <laughs> Look at me locks the camera on your head and autofocus is basically self-explanatory. My tip for photography and videography is to focus and center what you actually want to showcase in a video to keep things clear and obvious for the viewer. For that you can use the grid option which helps you get everything all in order when it comes to exactly that. Also some additional tips I gotta mention is to for example turn off your gestures that make your avatar emote with hand gestures. This would help you for example stick with a specific emotion instead of just having to hold the peace sign or other hand gestures all the time. And if you do use your voice in your video, don't forget to unmute your microphone or else your voice seams are not gonna be picked up. And that happened to me pretty often back when I started. If you want to have more options for your camera and want to go for more cinematic shots, I really recommend you a prefab called VRC Lens. VRC Lens basically expands your camera settings to even the smallest detail just like an actual camera in real life. From exposure to color changes to flying a drone with set focus points, which is also better than the VRC drone, uh, sorry developers. VRC Lens is the perfect tool for not only videography but also for photography. Just as perfect as hitting the like button on this video. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you want a deep dive into VRC Lens in the future down in the comments section too since VRC Lens can really be worth a video on its own. Now let me show you how I actually set up and use my VRChat camera. I usually set my camera to smooth, auto level, look at me and a bit of autofocus and zoom it in a little. That's how I usually set up my stuff for videos I planned and such. You can also add the green screen option and remove it in your program for example to be in mountains, have an ambient background or be around Judge Hutchison. <laughs> Let me know if everything worked for you from this tutorial and if you have any more questions leave them down in the comment section. I'll try and help as much as I can. Subscribe to this channel for more VRG content and tips and tricks and as always take care in the virtual as well as in reality. Ciao ciao! And thanks to my Ko-Fi members Artemis, Vivslex, Gingaryoshi and Lone Dye.